Imagine that you are a cosmonaut. You are in space working on the maintenance of a space station, the pride of your nation. Now imagine that your nation collapses and you are stuck in space with no country to go back to. Though this might seem like science fiction, it is not. Cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev had been orbiting Earth for a couple of months, carrying out repairs on the Soviet space station Mir, when in August 1991, a failed coup against President Mikhail Gorbachev rocked the Soviet Union. It was one of many events which eventually led to the country's breakup. By the 26th of December 1991, the USSR was no more. And the future of the space program was hanging by a thread. The Baikonur Cosmodrome, from where the Soviets launched their rockets, now belonged to newly independent Kazakhstan, who then demanded huge fees for the use of the facility. Russia's economy was in freefall. The value of the ruble dropped dramatically, and that caused prices to skyrocket. The resulting chaos meant the space agency couldn't send supply ships to the stranded cosmonaut. At one point, the Russians even considered selling Mir to the Americans, but NASA showed little interest. So, they tried to raise funds by selling space station trips to the West. A Japanese TV network paid $12 million to send one of its reporters up to the space station. And Austria paid $7 million to send up an astronaut. Russia also struck a deal with Kazakhstan. It agreed to fly up the first ever Kazakh cosmonaut in exchange for using the Baikonur Cosmodrome. While the visiting astronauts could bring supplies to the stranded Russian, Neither the Kazakh nor the Austrian were qualified to replace Krikalev. And because Mir required a constant presence, Krikalev agreed to stay behind and mend the space station, while his international partners flew back home. It was not until the 25th of March 1992, after spending 311 days in orbit, months longer than planned, that Krikalev came back to Earth, to a nation very different to the one that he had left. The Soviet Union was now divided into 15 independent countries, each with its own president. Krikalev's hometown of Leningrad was now called St. Petersburg. He subsequently became a hero of Russia, and the whole world cheered. But his space adventures were not yet over. Two years later, Krikalev would go on another very special space mission, when he became the first Russian cosmonaut to fly on a NASA space shuttle, Discovery. And in December 1998, Krikalev and U.S. astronaut Robert Cabana became the first people to enter the International Space Station. In his lifetime, Krikalev spent a total of 803 days, 9 hours and 39 minutes in space, out of which he spent 41 hours and 8 minutes out on spacewalks. He also holds the record for the most time dilation experienced by a human. Long story short, he time-traveled two hundredths of a second into his own future. But that's definitely something for another time.